वेलकम व्यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट डेमी अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट प्लानिंग इंजीनियर्स क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट नंबर नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी वन वट इज रिसोर्स लेवलिंग एंड वट इज रिसोर्स एलोकेशन आंसर रिसोर्स लेवलिंग इज द बेस्ट सीनेरियो टू एग्जीक्यूट द वर्क विद द अवेलेबल रिसोर्स in order to achieve the best scenario planning engineer could change the activities durations and or activities dates without affecting the project overall duration to maintain best usage of resources while resource allocation is assigning resources to activities determining the amount of labor equipment and money required for any activity in this figure you can see without resource leveling and with resource leveling you can differentiate both of graphs how can you level resource could be shown and how can a resource without leveling can be shown here question number 82 if we increase two days to the duration of any activity on critical path that will increase the duration of project by 2 days answer yes it is on the critical path which means it is a zero total float and any increasing in its duration will affect the duration of project question number 83 explain what a good schedule means answer a scheduled activities must reflect the project's contract scope of work b dates must be in accordance with the contract c meets the contractual requirements or milestones d activity duration or reasonable activity duration must be calculated based on quantity of work and resources available to be applied to the work e activity relationships are all defined as review must be take place all relationships have been included and all are valid and redundancies are eliminated and no open end activities except the first and the last activities f the critical path makes sense g it considers procurement and material and equipment deliveries h it must be cost and resource loaded i must be accessible in proper format complete clear and convenient j specific must tell about what will done who will do when will do and what cost will need question number 84 how will you make a manpower loading for your schedule answer manpower loading is based in my company productivity rates we calculate the required man hour for each boq item by using this formula required man hours is equal to quantity divided by productivity rate question number 85 what are the involvements of project planner and vital role in project management answer since planning engineer directly involves in project management activities project leadership to make decisions concerning the development of plans and how work process block plan and the control how it be managed track review for cost and give inputs the status of the project and product further more planning engineer should raise the flag to project team where she he recognize and potential risk question number 86 float belongs to the owner or the contractor answer 
it is a question that you should probably will not find a definite answer for the significance of the argument about who owns the float has to float first its ability directly or indirectly influence the construction methodology and or sequence once the project execution has started and secondly the uh, potential entitled of extension of time and the application of liquidated damages ld's there are mainly three view of the matter which are presented here and after one the contractor owns the float argument this is the traditional view and still has its appeal among many practitioner this view implies that the contractor is entitled to utilize float for his own risk events and recovery rescheduling not so far ago a survey in the uk united states suggested that 80% of the respondents assumed that the contractor owns the float not surprisingly the majority of those respondents were contractors to the client owns the float argument this is just the opposite of the view above the proponents of this view argue that the client has paid for the project and the program is one of the tool to manage the project and monitor progress therefore the client should be able to control the float to reduce the cost and control progress especially when the program is a contractual requirement in which the contractor has developed it for the client benefits three the project owns the float argument the view basically says float is owned by neither the contractor nor the owner the project owns the float which means float is not for the exclusive use of any of the parties and it serves whoever need it first as long as it is used in good faith question number 87 what are the methods of evaluating ev earned value answer one updating actual cost of activities to updating the actual budgeted units of activities three updating the actual resources comparing to budgeted ones so this is our today's content of the part 9 so the videos are still to be continued to part 10 keep watching softy demi don't forget to subscribe our channel share like comment keep watching softy demi we will meet in our next video